This statue campaign is about honouring a forgotten woman, an eco-pioneer, Emily Williamson, who in 1889 invited her friends to tea here at the Croft uh, in Fletcher Moss Park, this was her house, and got them to sign a pledge to wear no feathers because the fashion for feathered hats was decimating bird life. That was how the RSPB started. And that campaign snowballed over the decades and her achievement finally was 1st of July, 1921, the Plumage Act. We are going to create a statue of her. So today we're unveiling the uh, four strong shortlist of designs and we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Plumage Act. This was her house. This is where it happened. This is her garden. And I think that is tremendously powerful when we're talking about a memorial for her. It's going to be in her garden. The three women founders would be slightly amazed to realise that their fledgling organisation now stood at over a million members and had 220 nature reserves in the UK and was working around the world to protect bird species and fight for our natural world. I think they'd be amazed and I think they'd be really excited as well. Emily Williamson was my great great aunt. Despite the fact she's in my family tree, I only found out a few years ago that she founded the Society for the Protection of Birds. And this is actually an extraordinary coincidence for me because both myself and my father made our careers studying bird biology. And we did this without knowing anything about Emily and her achievements. In my sculpture, not only do I want to celebrate Emily the person, I also want to emphasize the importance of her work continuing through the generations. Emily here, as you can see, isn't wearing the hat. She's turned it on its head, as it were, uh, upside down as a symbolic offering, presenting it back to the birds as a place of sanctuary, as a bird bath. Chocolate's from Emily, and as it has a crinoline kind of um, draws down to the, to the base, uh, this is kind of the conservation aspect of, of her legacy with the RSPB. For me, I have a huge passion uh, over the remaining years of my working life to try to make as many sculptures of women of achievement as I possibly can. Today it was a very exciting moment when each one of them revealed what they'd been working on and they've all brought something very different to the Emily Williamson story, whether it's a Claire Abbott's piece which is about handing the baton on to the, the younger generation who need to take care of nature for us or perhaps Laurie Dizen Gremmel it's about Emily's compassion and her deeply emotional relationship with the birds um, we've got Billy Bond where she's really focused on the bird hat the murderous millinery that inspired Emily's campaign or we've got Eve Shepherds where, where Emily is she's like mother nature and she's got these full skirts studded with the birds that Emily helped protect. Well, I'm incredibly proud to have had um, this family member who did such an amazing thing. And at a time when it was much more difficult for women to make their mark in the world, you know, she stood up and for something she believed in and achieved something that's had massive consequences going forward in time. So I'm really, really proud and, and thrilled. I mean, it's just a lovely connection given, given my own interests in birds. It's the story of very early conservation in the UK. You know, it's over 130 years ago that the RSPB started, and it's grown to be an organisation with over a million members. And that's so exciting to think that from one meeting, one little tea party, this thing has grown, which is still inspiring people and doing fantastic conservation work today. We're really in need of conservation role models and Emily is a really inspiring figure because she showed that one voice can make a difference. It's been a massive honour to be part of such an amazing project, you know, that is, you know, in my opinion, really, really long overdue. It's really exciting today, meeting the other artists and they, of course, they have totally different proposals, which is wonderful. So there's four totally different ones to choose from. It's an amazing moment because you know, we've all been working on our pieces for months. I've really, really enjoyed it. And uh, now this moment's come, you know, it's exciting. I can see how they wanted to have, this committee wanted to build public engagement and this competition will definitely do that. 
what I'm focused on now is making sure that we get at least 10,000 people voting using our QR code, which goes straight through to the statue website, and straight to the voting page. So I'm urging everybody to, to vote, basically, because we, we want as much feedback from the public as we can. And the more people who are aware of it and vote and take an interest, the better, as far as I'm concerned. The maquettes are now going to go on tour to RSPB Reserves, a full UK tour, reflecting the fact that the RSPB has got members everywhere. I think the, the next couple of years will be very exciting, seeing the production of the final statue, and it's just been an amazing thing for me to be involved in. I've never done anything like this before. The most amazing thing is, it doesn't matter who wins, you know, there's going to be a great piece of sculpture up there that's going to commemorate an amazing woman and a fantastic um, society that she was co-founder of. Emily can inspire a growing generation of eco-activists, of maybe budding feminists. You know, here, here was a woman who couldn't even book a meeting hall. She was just a Victorian woman. But look what she achieved. It's a beautiful day. We're in a beautiful park and it's just fantastic to see everybody. Today the weather could not have gone better and everybody's loved seeing the designs um, and we've got very positive feedback about the whole event.